I'm going to show you how to convert this equation into a sine equation. So right now, this is a sinusoidal equation. We are going to, in the form of cosine, so this is sinusoidal, but it's a cosine graph. We're going to convert, I don't know if you can hear that jet, <laughs> we're going to convert to a sine function. Virtually what's going to happen is everything's going to stay the same except for one part, our phase shift. So what we want to do, first thing that is very, very important, so pay close attention, I've written the equation in the form y equals d plus a times cosine of b times x minus c. Now sometimes the equation is written with the b distributed. So it's very important that b is not distributed through into the binomial, that you pull that b out. And then this part is going to be very simple, especially graphically, to change to a sine graph. So everything is going to stay the same. I think I said most of that, except for the, the 3. So I want you to go to your graphing calculator and put this purple equation into your graphing cal calculator. Now you'll want to make sure that you are, let me move this over so you can see it. We want to make sure that you are in radian mode. And let me show you how I entered this into my calculator. 23 plus 20 cosine, and then parentheses, pi over 4, and then parentheses again. So we've got open parentheses twice. Come up so I can scroll over and you can see. And then the x minus 3 in parentheses. Now what I also did was I put into y2 the midline. I'm going to press enter. I'm in radian mode. Because my midline is at 23, and I have an amplitude of 20. I know I'm going to need to go as high on the y-axis as 43 and as low as 3. So I change my window so that my y values go from 0 to 50. My x min to my x max, I just put in trig values. So you can put in whatever you want, no matter what you are going to get the same answer as long as your x min, x max, and your y min, y max are similar to mine. We'll have the same picture on our screen. Now there's our midline. You can see that we shift over one, two, three to get to the maximum. So we're going to shift over three to get to the maximum. Let me look again here. I'm going to make it very clear. See, my, mat, my values are going up by 1.57. But if I change this so that it's, let's say, negative 9 to positive 9, going up by 1s, you'll actually see shift 1, 2, 3 on the x-axis. That's where our maximum value is. And I'm going to show you. Here's our max to our max. We'll come over one more time so you can see max to max. Here's the cosine curve. Now the cosine curve continues forever and ever, but one full cycle is going to start at x equals 3 because of this right 3, and then it's going to have a horizontal length. This b value would be 2 pi over pi over 4, so it's going to have a horizontal length of 8 units. So if we were to count over from max to max, we would have eight units in between. Now our sine curve, the one that we want, I'm going to come over here and do something hopefully kind of cool with a highlighter. And come back over here. Now the sine curve that we want is going to start with this cycle. So I need to know what the shift from x equals 0 is over to the right to get to the sine 
curve and sine starts at the midline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the intersection point. So I hit G solve, intersect, and it comes over right here to that first sine curve to the right of x equals 0, and I get a value of x equals 1. So when I transform this equation, I go right 1. When I transform this equation, it's going to be y equals 23 plus 20 times the sine of pi over 4 times x minus 1. Ah, that should be a bracket. I'm not going to waste time, though. If I were to put this into my calculator, so if I put this into my calculator, 23 plus 20 sine parentheses pi over 4 parentheses x minus 1. This will be a green graph and when I draw it you're going to see that it goes right over the original graph. So they are indeed the same graph. So these two graphs are indeed the same. Now real quick, if you are given some textbooks Give an equation in this form, y equals d plus a times the cosine of bx minus c, where the phase shift is no longer c. So the phase shift is not equal to c, it is c divided by b. Now that can be confusing. So what I do is I just take the b out. So if I'm going to rewrite this purple equation in the form that I'm used to writing it in, so whenever I have this purple equation written in this form where the b is attached to the x without parentheses, I simply pull that pi over 4 out. When I pull it out of the first term, I have to factor it out of the second term. And when I factor it out of the second term, I get this equation, which is the equation that I just solved. So, not solved, but changed to a sine curve. So if you're given the equation in this form, you're ready to go. If you're given the equation in this second form, you're going to need to pull the b out first, rewrite your equation, and then go ahead and put it in your calculator, and you'll be able to just do that phase shift over three units. I hope this helps.